What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here, and welcome back to another video, and today's a little bit just of a different kind of random one. Uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts and kind of review of the new My Hero Academia movie, uh, Heroes Rising. You guys know, of course, my channel is mainly reaction videos, so no, I did not, I'm not going to do a reaction video to this, because I actually saw this in theaters, I was able to do that, so I was very happy, and so I'm just kind of just gonna do a discussion and uh you know tell you guys what i thought about it and yeah uh, yeah just jumping right into it um in short i thought it was really good i i really enjoyed it it was awesome um this video might not be too long in general because i tend to not get too critical um with movies such for an anime movie that may or may not even be canon i don't know i don't know if it's canon or not uh it might not be it might be if i, I know it's not gonna get mentioned in the show that's usually how they roll uh because I, I don't think the events of the first movie were ever mentioned uh, so this one probably isn't but uh yeah my biggest um my biggest like of this movie was probably its selling point uh, was it got all the members of Class 1A involved. Everyone at least did something to help the overall plot of uh, defending this Nabu Island. Um, so I I did enjoy that. I did, I enjoyed all them like seeing them all do kind of different kinds of hero work. Um, it was cool to see like before like them run an a agency. Oh, by the way, I, I don't. I don't know if this is, you know, I hope you assume this getting this far, but, um, yeah, this is a spoiler, so there's going to be spoilers, so if you didn't see it yet, don't want it spoiled, I wouldn't watch this video yet. But I liked seeing them, like, run a hero agency, that was kind of their assignment, and, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of, um, the thing that was, like, you know, it worked, but, like, it was, like, eh, okay, it's, like, it kind of had the same um setting as the uh, first movie like a place where oh there's no criminal activity there's never been villains and when they come oh wait now there's a villain <laughs> that's what happened with uh i island uh, that when uh th there's never been any villain activity and it was the same thing with this nabu island um and so it was kind of like kind of getting too coincidental now but it's not that big of a deal like maybe if this was like a, a big plot line in the show but if it's just a fun movie then it's fine i mean it didn't take away from the movie don't get me wrong but uh it's something i thought about after i was like you know what that's kind of that's kind of funny kind of weird however everything else made sense though like the uh, the i was wondering like nine uh he was a really good villain why he was gonna be after this child he needed his quirk to like his cell regeneration quirk so he could use all of his quirks and not like not get break breaking down over using so many quirks i actually thought that uh while when he was like getting all like uh, like he was getting like beat up over using too many quirks i thought they were gonna have him maybe like tur turn into like a nomu and like his brain was just gonna slowly like come out of his head i thought maybe that's where they were going uh but no that did not happen um something else happened in the end which we'll get to in a second but the villains were really interesting like nine in the group honestly i wouldn't mind if the anime had a whole like arc on them like how they did with like overhaul and the yakuza i i wouldn't mind that at all they were a really good uh villain group and like they had a tie-in with the uh, league of villains but uh of course you know um, at at the very end, remember I said with spoilers, just in case, um, Shigaraki ends up, uh, yeah, uh, killing nine. So, um, yeah, they're 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 pretty much done for now. But they were definitely a good villain group. Definitely glad we got at least movies with them. The two kid, the kids and the characters, and I liked how they were like. I liked how um the one girl like didn't was trying to look down on heroes or not because she hated them but because she didn't want her brother to be one that he really wanted to be because it's dangerous um i like how deku was treating him and even at the very end he said what all might said to him i i figured that was gonna happen i was waiting for that i was like yes i'm so glad he happened he was like you too can become a hero i like that i love that even 
And uh, their quirks were interesting. Of course, uh, the kids, the boys' quirk was uh, pretty helpful. And um, uh, the girls' quirk really reminded me of Kami's from uh, Ma the show. Um, yeah, the season four. Um, I I almost felt like I was trying to make a connection. Like, ooh, is there like some sort of relationship here? Sister, cousin, something like that. I don't think it was a sister because they would have mentioned because they mentioned the mother passed away and the father working. I feel like they were said, oh, she has a sister, and like, you know, it didn't really make sense. But uh, yeah, she had a illusion quirk. Um, but yes, class one A working together, everyone contributing. That was a big, big. Thing that I liked from that it was a selling point too and I really liked it um and then yeah at the end um the you know, the big final fight um was epic uh but let's see the big thing that was honestly it was given away in the trailer um honestly I, I would prefer if they never mentioned this at all I don't even think they needed to but uh, I guess to sell it they did but Deku passes down one for all to Bakugo and that was just a really cool moment. Um, it played the same music they did when uh, Deku was uh, saving Aerie in the, uh, in the uh, Never Let Her Go moment. Um, man, that, that was just a big, big moment. And like, oh, when he was like fighting, he was like, I can do what All Might did. Like, I, it's like, it was like he was such like a veteran of the power. Like, he was the All Might in that, but like, he was still like so young and didn't like use it to its full potential yet. But it, it was like, it was cool though, too. And like, Bakugo using, going like the Super Saiyan mode, and uh, Deku going the Super Saiyan mode too, and then just completely bodying Nine. It was just. It was epic. There's nothing more else to say. It was awesome. It was such a cool moment. And it was absolutely epic. And then he said goodbye one for all. And it was like, yo. It, that's exactly what All Might said. And he, went, he was like, my final smash. Beautiful ending. Absolutely beautiful ending. And then the uh, pro heroes show up and help them save the day. Or well, not help them save the day, but help them. Because they already saved the day. And that was pretty much the movie. Uh, they were defending Naboo Island, and I enjoyed it. Now, just some little bit negativities. but And it really could all be summed up in one. I feel like this movie was released too early. And here's the thing. I feel like we got spoiled by some things a little bit. First of all, the very, the last episode of My Hero Academia, I've seen it, it's February 26th I saw the movie. Um, the la latest episode, Deku is just now training using ranged attacks with his wind. And in this movie, he has a whole gadget thing that he's using to like use these wind attacks. I'm assuming that's eventually going to develop and he's going to get that by the end of season four. Spot. So now, like, oh, I guess what? Ha what? Wonder what happens now? He's he's training, and now he's using this stuff. So I feel like we kind of got spoiled for that. Um, there's also this one more where where uh, uh, Todoroki is um, uh, thinking of what Endeavor told him that we never heard him say. Something about like him using like the temperature. I'm assuming it's what he was doing with the Nomu with that one time the blue fire. He was like, I'm gonna do that, but with ice. And, uh, like, I was cool, but it would have been a little bit more, like, better if we heard Endeavor say that. I'm assuming we're going to hear him say that eventually. Um, we also see the pro hero Hawks, the one that Tokoyami was, um, intern chairming under. We see him and hear him for the first time in the movie, which this one's not terrible, but... I feel like we should have saw him first in the show. That one's, you know, that that's not that big of a deal at all. It's not like the, uh, the win, Deku's win stuff. It kind of is. It's little stuff, I guess, but still, I feel like they should have released it after season four was over if this was the case. Plus, I've, I saw, like, everyone was, like, preaching, um, that, uh, you don't need to be caught up with this show to enjoy the movie, and you didn't, but... I mean, some people don't want to be spoiled with 
anything. Like, I'm kind of one of those people, like, I'm, because I'm, I'm not mad, like, I'm not getting, like, oh my god, I'm petitioning and writing and writing bad reviews everywhere, no. I'm not, like, that mad, I'm swearing. I just would have liked to, like, you know, finish season four, like, see the development on Deku's wind powers, and then, oh, we see him in the movie, so, like, oh, yeah, we can, like, see, but, because he just pulled out a note, I'm like, what? I had a take a second to process that i had no idea what what that was but yeah there's maybe some other little things like uh tomer shigaraki at the end kind of used his um what all for one used like his teleporting thing so i don't know if like he's mastering uh, his master's power more all for one more and like we're gonna see that more they also mentioned the uh bullets they got from the yakuza so uh, if you didn't finish that yet, well, that, that kind of got spoiled for you. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I think this movie was great, but I think it released a little bit too early. I think it should have been released after Season 4 finished. Aired. And also, like, you know, we, we already have the show going on, and, like, we're going to have to wait for more to come back from Season 4 to 5. So, I say, you know, f um, while we're waiting for Season 5, maybe release... Uh, the movie. I mean, you can have it done and just kind of wait, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And uh, one other thing I'd like to talk, talk about is kind of the passing of uh, One for All onto uh, um, Bakugo. Uh, honestly, I, d I didn't want to think about this too much because I, I, I liked it. And I loved like, the epicness of it, but I'm kind of wondering how it worked because he just kind of touched his, like, hand i guess the blood for the dna but how did that get like into him unless he like licked his hand which I, <laughs> he didn't appear to do but maybe but yeah i don't i didn't want to think about that too much um and then like it's kind of like i deku got it back and like just to get it back and like Bakugo didn't have it anymore and then he didn't remember he was like what happened to me that made a funny moment but like you know it was kind of like eh, I, almost I don't know what to call it I know there's like a word like I don't know if it's like an ass pull or a plot armor or something like that but uh it's uh it's something like that but um yeah, it, that definitely nothing that didn't make it enjoyable. Just like if you really want to get nitpicky, then you can say that. But uh, honestly, I I enjoyed it. Like I didn't mind that at all. I didn't mind any kind of uh, you know like unrealisticness because you know how what's unrealistic in my hero academia <laughs> with like <laughs> with like quirks and stuff. It just feels like it shouldn't have worked, but hey, I'm glad it did because that was it, it gave some awesome stuff. And something I almost thought they were gonna do, um, uh, because I saw somewhere where it was like an article, I didn't read it, but like, it was, uh, it was like a post that like, My Hero Academia plans to do like 12 other movies. I don't know how true that is, I don't know if that was just like, um, a bluff or whatever, but uh, I thought maybe they were gonna do something, like that's a lot of movies, and like, I thought maybe they were gonna have like, the movies go this other storyline and they were gonna have like an alternate universe where that that Bak he Bakugo has one for all and Deku becomes quirkless again I don't know what that would mean for Deku but it would be very interesting to see Bakugo and All Might work together and All Might trying to like make him this like about the symbol of peace because you know it kind of you can see how Deku could become the symbol of peace but Bakugo he's so like is thin I I spearheaded on like him being the best and stuff and he only failed the provisional license exam like that'd be kind of interesting and he'd probably want to work on it too after Deku gave him his power and uh it would be it'd be kind of interesting um, I thought maybe they were gonna go down that road, like, it, not, like, really, but, like, I thought, like, they could, the idea came in my head, but, and nah, they weren't doing that, but, um, yeah, hey, I, either way, I'm down, uh, more hero, My Hero Akamu, my, Akamu, Akamovies, hey, yeah, My Hero Akamovies, that's what we're gonna call them now, uh, but more, more My Hero movies are, um, 
gonna be lit because these first two were amazing. I, I really love this one. I love the last one too. I thought it was really good. Um, honestly, if they, I don't, I guess I don't know if they're canon or not. If they made them canon, I wouldn't complain. Um, I, I like them both. I really did. Nothing like, there was no big negativity, negativities at all. Like, if they just released this movie, like, later, even if I saw it after, why, well, like, season four, the whole, like, little spoiler things, like, I, that wouldn't even be a complaint of mine at all. So, uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, in summary, very much like the movie, very much enjoyed it. Um, if you somehow watched this video and did not see the movie yet and you just chose to hear all the spoilers, uh, even with all that, I suggest you do. I thought it was a really good watch, um, and it's just, it's, it's awesome. But if you do watch the movie, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, what do you, uh, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you have more complaints than me? Um, do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree with what I said? Anything you want. Or you could just go on your merry way. Um, and you don't have to comment at all. That's, that's what I normally do with YouTube videos. I don't really comment too much. But, uh, hey, comments do help indeed. I, I, I read them all. I should at least. Um, if I, even if I just like heart it or I like, like it, I've still read it. Even if I don't do that, I probably still read it sometimes. I, I like, oh, I'll do that in a minute. A minute goes by, I forget. So, so yeah. Anyways, and it was awesome. It was my first, like, yeah, that was my first anime movie to see in the theaters. It was really cool. And, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. A lot. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike, subscribe or don't subscribe. No, it's always up to you. I'll see you guys in the next video you watch of me. Also, if you're new to the channel, I do mainly reactions. I don't really do too many reviews. Um, I do them kind of when I want to, uh, although this might be the first one. Uh, but if you like reactions and you like My Hero Academia, I am currently reacting to the current season right now, season four. So stay tuned for that, and goodbye. Bye. Wanna tangle? I can feel him try to grab me by the ankles. I can hear him all start to say my name, oh. But it's not about the money or the fame, no. No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo. Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no. I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo.